Hi, I'm Dave Granger and I'm the president of the Guild of Automotive Restorers. Uh, this is a company my wife Janice and I founded in 1991, 1992. You know, people think that, um, you know, when you become passionate about something, um, you become sort of focus just on that one thing. And you have to do a certain amount, but my passions uh, are, are broad. But they have one recurring theme, and it is things that are very complex. Uh, you know, aircraft are complex, cars are complex, tractors are complex. And not just complexity, but history and engineering, and, and most specifically and most importantly, art. You know, it's the art involved with these mechanical endeavors that we've been uh, you know, surrounding ourselves with for the last 150 years or so, that's what really has the appeal to me. People have asked me uh, over the years, because I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of different uh, car collectors, you know, what is the common thread that runs through, uh, what are their similarities? And, and for the most part, a lot of them aren't very similar to each other. I mean, if you get a guy who's collecting, uh, you know, like 1960s Dodges, he may have completely different reasons from that than a guy who's collecting French cars made in the 1930s, or a guy who likes Volkswagens, or, uh, you know, like, it, it's just, there's so many different reasons that people collect. And, and yes, collecting is an itch that needs to be scratched, but the justification for those collections changes from guy to guy, or from woman to woman. You know, the last time I spoke to Dolce Magazine was, oh, well, I guess six years ago, and uh, in that time, well, I've been doing a few things. Uh, you know, the Guild has been running and growing. Uh, we've had a few other things uh, uh, on the go, like, well, uh, we're in our sixth season of a major uh, internationally viewed television show about <laughs> all the stuff I do. Um, well, and a few other things. You know, a lot of people ask me, what am I going to do next? And, and, and to be quite honest, I really never know what I'm going to do next. Uh, it, it's just whatever happens. I mean, I'm, my entire life has been led basically on the spur of the moment. I can't see that changing anytime soon. You know, my definition of La Dolce Vita is uh, basically just, just enjoy everything that comes your way. Uh, and, and if things aren't coming your way, make them come your way.